All right, everybody. So um, one of the questions I've had given to me was the difference between um, a chest dip and a tricep dip. So essentially, the chest dip and tricep dip is essentially difference um, between the two is the angle that you put your body at. So if you really think about it, um, the chest dip is essentially a decline press. So you're more so working like the underneath of the pec, okay? Um, so you're thinking about it in that kind of thought process. So when you're doing a, a chest dip, your hands are in front of you like you're doing a decline press. So it's like this, and it's all chest. Like I'm pushing down basically as if I'm doing a decline press. And that's, and that's purely all outer pack so when I'm sitting in here I'm coming up trying to feel that stretch up into my armpit along the outside of my pack coming down and I'm squeezing those pecs down squeezing them together like kind of like a, a decline fly so you can change your grip in this but it's essentially the same thing it's all lower pack So what, you're pressing it like you're pressing the bar away. So it's all, as you can tell, my wrists are going away from me. So it's, if you're looking at me from the side, I'm pressing in this fashion. So if I, if I was on like a, a hanging dip, I would angle myself like this. So my feet would be dangling behind me and I'd be pressing myself up like this. But for a tricep dip, you want your hands either right next to your torso or even behind you. So it's taking the pec completely out of the range of motion. So if I was gonna do this and essentially do a tricep one, I would put myself at the edge of the seat, put my feet up on here, and do it in this fashion. Now it's just only triceps. The big thing you have to look at though is your shoulders because it is, you're putting your shoulders in a predicament that they're gonna get quite a large stretch when you're in here like this. But the big thing is you're feeling that full tricep flex at the bottom, feeling that stretch at the top. So the common mistakes with any, any dip is they're trying to use their torso as a swing. So if it's like a chest dip, which is realistically the most common one, they're doing like they're, they're trying to swing to kind of get momentum, especially if they're in a regular, um, like a hanging dip, like putting plates between the knees and stuff like this. This is the machine and it's the hoist machine that actually gives you the, the rocking motion in it. So it's really good in that, that fashion where you're not having to swing your torso or get momentum. In the tricep dip in this machine, it is a little off because you gotta almost maneuver your hands. So you're gonna almost gotta lean yourself forward a bit. big thing here is the same thing everyone causes to as soon as they get tired they they use like they're trying to use their knees or something to bring themselves back up again but when you're in the machine like this you can't because you're locked in which is essentially good if you just want to concentrate on those two particular body parts so hopefully you guys got from that is realistically it's just the angle where your hands are where you're pressing down, the angle of the press, that is really the difference between a tricep dip and a chest dip. It's very simplistic, just basically where the angle of your body is and where your hand travel is. That's it for today, boys and girls. We'll catch you next time.